this overview, we are going to discuss the completely redesigned Maps app in DHIS2. It is broken up into four parts, so make sure to have a look at the other parts as well. In 2.29 and higher, the Maps app has been completely redesigned with a new user interface as well as enhanced functionality and features. We can see this when we compare the Maps app to the previous GIS application used in versions 2.28 and lower. The GIS app is still available as a legacy application, however the enhancements in the new Maps app make it the recommended tool of choice. When we start comparing differences, we can see that the cluttered icon bar at the top of the app has been removed. This has been replaced by a single Add Layer button. When I select this button, the various layers that were available in the previous GIS app are all available here. I no longer need to remember what all of the different icons on the toolbar represent. From this menu, I can select the multiple layers that I want to add to my map. We can not only have multiple thematic layers like we could before, but we can also have multiple event layers, which was not possible in the previous GIS application. Additional layers such as the Facility layer, Boundary layer, and Google Earth Engine have all been integrated into this Add Layer button, where all the different layers can now be added. The way in which base maps are selected is also now more visual, moving away from the checkbox method used in the previous GIS application. The base map selection also includes any external layers that you may have added to your own system. You can now quickly change between base maps by simply selecting the different options that are available in this menu. The Favorites menu has also been completely replaced by a File button drop-down menu. This menu makes it easier to manage your favorites compared to the previous GIS app. In the previous GIS app, many of the functions such as renaming, sharing, or saving items were all contained within a second pop-up menu. Additionally, you will need to find the favorite you are working with, even if it is the favorite that you currently have open, before you could perform the operation that you wanted. This has been eliminated using the new file menu, as these operations can now be taken care of directly using this menu. Let's open a favorite in order to see how the legends for various layers appear within the Maps app. When we open up this favorite, we can see that there is a small issue as the facility data appears underneath the thematic layer for the data for the chiefdoms. In the new Maps app, this is a lot easier to fix than in previous versions of the GIS app. We can simply drag and drop the layers in order to change their order. This will automatically change the order in which the layers appear on the map. In the previous GIS app, when we had this issue, we had to reconfigure both layers in order to make sure that their appearance was correct in the app. In the new Maps app, there is no need to re-edit layers, and if we forget how the ordering of layers works, we can always rearrange them by simply dragging and dropping the layers in the order that we want them to appear. In order to have a closer look at this map, we are going to hide the facility level data. Hiding layers and changing their transparency has also been changed in the new Maps app. Now, in order to hide a layer or change its transparency, we use the visibility toggle that is available directly on the layer selection in the left side of the Maps app. I can change the transparency of the layer by moving the slider next to the visibility icon back and forth. I can hide the layer completely by clicking on the visibility icon. We can see that the facility level data is now completely removed from the maps display. In this first overview, we had a look at the redesigned user interface and core features that have been added to the new maps app. In the second overview, we are going to continue to look at some of the new features that have been added to the redesigned Maps application. If there are any questions related to the concepts discussed in this initial overview, please do not hesitate to let us know.